What's up guys, Josh with Navigate the Wild. Uh, I got called out on a video that we did for an issue that I really had not given much thought to, quite honestly. Um, we had an intro to saddle hunting video that has done very well for us on our small channel and I'm super thankful. I think it's over 10,000 views. But a guy commented and said basically that we never include and he lumped me in with all saddle hunter videos and youtubers that we never include a safety backup for our ascenders i'm using the kong duck and i really liked this gadget because it frees up your hand to move around the tree up and down bringing in my bridge bringing in it at bringing it in bringing it out really with one hand, and it's just super comfortable. But what happens if this thing fails? <laughs> it's a good question. I've never really given it much thought. And so I did some digging online and started looking at how to back up your ascender if it was to ever fail. When I started listening to what guys were saying, it made a lot of sense to me. It was a conviction that I had to be able to sh shoot this real short clip on the simple fix that's really not an inconvenience whatsoever because this stop knot is really all you have if your ascender broke for some odd reason. It is a small piece of equipment. It's a very good piece of equipment, but there's a lot uh, you know, that could potentially go wrong. And then I'm falling the length of this. I'm not going to be prepared. I'm going to fall backwards. I'm going to lose my footing. I'm 166 pounds right now. And this knot will probably stop me, but it's going to hurt. And so what do guys do to back up their ascenders? Well, pretty simple solution. And I thought originally that the Prusik knot with this uh, black diamond carabiner would go down here. It would link into where I put my lineman's belt. But the more and more I watched advanced climbers, okay, mountain climbers and saddle hunters, everybody said the same thing. And then uh, a representative from Mad Rock emailed a guy in response to his questions of where you place your Prusik knot. And they said, our recommendation is in the top, above your ascender, okay? So like I said, I'm running the Kong duck with the Kong carabiner. And I have my Prusik knot up here that sits above and it just runs up and down the, by the way, I'm on the ground. <laughs> okay, we're just doing this in the front yard. But it runs right above my ascender. It's really easy to use. It's connected. This Prusik knot is connected to a black diamond carabiner. All right. Now, I am going to stealth strip this just to make it silent because that's going to cling and, and rub and make noise. I don't want that. So I'm going to stealth strip this. I feel so much safer now just knowing that I have a backup that doesn't weigh much, doesn't really get in the way, if for some reason this fails me. So all we're going to do when I get in the tree and I get my tether to the tree up, I'm all I'm going to do is hook into my bridge with my Kong duck that always stays connected, and I'm just going to take my black diamond, I'm going to lock it. And now my Prusik knot is my backup. So if this was to fail, I'm not going anywhere because that Prusik knot is going to catch me with my backup. Okay? So make sure you add this to the uh, long list of what you're probably already doing to make a already safe version of climbing even safer. Navigate the wild.